Yeah, all right, guys. So what we're doing today, we're going to go ahead and start a little mini series that I'm working on about League of Legends characters. So I'm going to go over a little bit of the history about the characters, um, how long they've been around, what they do, talk about their abilities a little bit, and then so, if you guys like it, and then if you do, we'll probably do a few more because this is one of my favorite games, and I like talking about it. So today I'm doing Veeger. One of the Yordles, <laughs> one of my favorites. Um, my favorite is actually Teemo, but I don't know why. For whatever reason, I decided to start with Eager. Um, so we're gonna see how this works. Probably gonna be a lot of random waiting, especially since the match doesn't pick up for you know a little while. But we'll see what we can get. Um, let's go ahead and look at the background. So, Veeger wasn't a very happy little Yordle. Um, basically, he wanted to get out of Vandal City, and he did. He ended up working for a trading company um, that made a deal with pretty much everybody in Valorant. Uh, what happened that made him so evil was he made a deal with Noxus, and it went south, and they pinned it on Veeger and his team. So... He ended up getting jailed by the authorities and tortured by sadistic jailers, so it kind of warped his mind a little bit. Which is kind of a messed up story for a video game character. But <laughs> um, after he managed to escape from prison, he traveled all over Valorant, training in the dark arts. Um, he's hailed as one of the strongest sorcerers in Valorant. And if you play the game, Vigor could be really annoying to go up against. Um, I think that's probably why I started with him. Looks like I'm landing against Swain. Uh, this is a bot match, so I don't really care too much. I've more wanted to talk about the characters than actually play a game. But since the rework, Vigor's main source of strength, other than his ult, which just hits like a Mac truck all the time, comes from farming his Q. Every time you kill a minion, you get additional ability power. As long as the Q is the killing blow, it's the phenomenal evil power. I've got one already. Um, low levels, it doesn't hit really hard. But as you start to come on in levels and get a little bit of gear, uh, you pretty much can wipe minion waves out with a Q and a W. So this Baleful Strike is kind of kind of good. It helps you definitely work your other abilities stronger. I just got caught. Crap. But... I feel like since this is a bot match, I'm probably just going to go ham and wreck everybody that I can find. Um, so for anybody who doesn't really know a whole lot of the story, um, all the characters kind of tie together, or well, maybe not all of them tie directly together, but they all fit into the story somewhere. So Vigor's only friend or ally in the whole game is Lulu. And that's because she has a really twisted story, too, where nobody really understands her, so I guess the outcasts you almost kind of stick together. Um, sad part about Veeger is he is the enemy of my favorite character in the game, Teemo. If you couldn't tell by the name here, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's Teemo Boost, and it has been for years. I've had probably 30 different accounts on this game, but this is what I've worked on second to most. I can't remember my main account's login stuff. And, I haven't been in that account since probably 2008, so I'm not really worried about it. <clears throat> uh, so far, I'm being this way to just trade back and forth. I'm trying to get a little bit of farm on this queue so I can demonstrate what I'm talking about. But basically, early game, this is what you're going to want to do. As many times as you can get a Baleful Strike to kill a minion, and if you can get a chance to go out of champ and take them out too, because it gives you five stacks, which. AP champs like Veeger, they really rely on that ability power. They're strictly gear based. And I get a first kill here. Um, but with this Q farming and building up mass amounts of ability power, um, definitely it's helpful. Uh, he's, in my opinion, he's still one of the strongest mid laners, but it's all in how you play. This is a bot match, so I'm overextending a little bit because I know that I can. Um, I just did one before this and went 26 and 1. So. I'm not too worried about it. I've been playing this game since it started. A friend of mine had a key for the um, closed beta when the game launched in 2006, and those were my first matches. I played on the beta. Veeger was actually one of the original characters from the start of the game. The game started with 40 characters, now there's over 100. 
Um, so we got plenty of material. If you guys like these types of videos, then I'll put them out every week. Um, Vigor's not one of my best characters, but I definitely enjoy playing him. Uh, he's a little more versatile than some of the other AP cannons, and with his uh, Event Horizon ability, his E, that, that stun is ridiculously broken. Um, half a second in this game could literally mean the difference between winning and losing. Um, as Ben will tell you, I have a very bad habit in this game of diving. I will go in for a kill even if I know that I'm not going to make it out. But that's just how I like to play. It's a video game. I think it's really fun. I kind of got away from League for a little while, but getting back into it now. So, Let's see how it goes. Time to go back. I'm not even sure if any of this is recording. Uh, I've recorded this video three times now uh, using different programs. LSI is the one that I used to use. Apparently LSI doesn't work the way that it's supposed to anymore. So, uh, trying this new OBS projects. If anybody's trying to do similar type videos, it seems to work pretty good. So far it's recording the screen, so let's see if we can put it to good use here. I guess while we're walking back to talk about all of these abilities. Phenomenal evil power, it just shows basically what you've killed minions, or how many minions or enemy champs you've killed with each ability. Uh, they build up, and like I said, the stacks directly translate to ability power. I'm going to go in here and get a kill. That bolt is just ridiculous. Primordial burst, 175 plus 36 to 350 plus 72 magic damage. So it just keeps scaling with your AP. And again, farming the Q, it's Basically, at a certain point, it becomes unstoppable. If you're aiming at a AD carry or anything that's not a tank, really, um, you're going to do mass amounts of damage. Probably land a kill every time you throw it out. Now, as far as tanks go, the passive for the ability is that whenever... Well, I'm sorry, it does damage based on the enemy's missing health. So if they're already hurt, if you get a couple good Baleful Strikes off, maybe a Dark Matter, and you hit them with Event Horizon, or some not Event Horizon, uh, Primordial Burst, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. Like, if I had it right now, I could take this Swain out again. But I might get him anyway. I probably not. Um, so basically, those are the things you want to focus on. You want to keep that ult for when you really need to get the kill, and farm that Q as much as is humanly possible. Um, it only has about a 4 second cooldown time, so it's not hard to launch it off a lot. And once you get up about a couple decent pieces of gear or, you know, 90 to 100 stacks of phenomenal evil power, uh, you can pretty much just clear minions. You don't even need to hit them first or anything. It'll bounce to, it'll hit the first target and bounce to anything that's directly behind it, up to two enemies, so, well, two enemies total. So makes wave clear pretty much the easiest part of the match um, and it also does mad damage on enemy champs <clears throat> now as far as the dark matter it is an aim skill so a lot of people struggle with those um, just practice uh, the more you use characters like this the better you'll get at it um, I don't hit it every time myself but that's not what I'm focusing on for my playstyle um, really focus on the Q, which is an aim skill, and I'll use the alt if I have to. I try to save it more for team fights, um, basically high value targets. Um, this Swain is hitting decently hard, so I might might get him if I can. Not a mana right now, but I'm going to be going back here in a second. He, he's too afraid to go all in on me, or maybe he's not. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to do some damage and send him back to his base. That's another thing you want to watch. Vigor doesn't really have a whole lot of armor or resistance to basically anything. So um, if you overextend like I am right now, like with these pathways here, um, if I wasn't playing bots, I definitely would not be out here by myself without wards. Um, I'll just do it for the sake of playing correctly. But you want to watch getting ganked because even with Event Horizon, it could buy you a couple seconds, but... He's not particularly fast. He's definitely one of the slower champs. 
and that translates to death if you're not careful. Uh, and I just want to go out there and say, since I am doing a video on League fucking Ward, they're there for a reason. Just use them. They're simple, they're very cheap, and you get a warding totem at the beginning of each match for free. So a lot of people don't use it, it's beyond me. And if I ever play a match with you and you're not using yours, I will probably just rage quit. I don't like it. Field of Vision is the most important thing. Even if you don't speak the same language, if you can see what's happening, you're better off. So, ward. Just ward. <laughs> it's not a question. It's not hard. It keybinds to number four. So, four and then left click. Even though I don't use my ward token ever. Yeah, well, he does weird stuff. That was Phantom. <clears throat> He likes being weird. I don't know. He plays Oriana. That should tell you everything you need to know. Oh, this swine thinks he's going to get my tower. He's probably going to get killed. Yep, definitely. Oh, what the hell. That was really bad. I flashed out to try to get him. And still didn't. There you, go. you see that Q's starting to hit hard already. Those minions were over half health and it took them out like they weren't even there. Yeah. I have 48 stacks, and I do have my uh, Lost Chapter and Phoenix Codex, so maybe that's helping out a little bit. Um, as far as laning, pretty much, like I said, farm your Q. Um, you don't want to end a match anywhere under the 100 additional AP, because it's there and it's free. So just use it. Um, now, around the 10 minute mark, you're definitely going to want to go into one of your full built items. I know that sounds ridiculous, but um, I usually start with the death cap if I can. Um, if I'm landing against somebody that's particularly tankier than I'm wanting to deal with, um, I'll go voice staff. It's not traditional, but it works. A little bit of extra ability power and some magic band. Uh, typically, if you're in the middle lane, you're not going to be going up against anyone too tanky. This Swain is probably the exception. Um, but I'm going to handle him here pretty soon. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely a lot of advantages to this champ. That's why I think I still enjoy playing him a little bit. Uh, they had broken him there for a little while, so I kind of got away from playing him. But I'm liking what I see so far, so I'm probably going to come back. I've been strictly teamoing for a little while. <laughs> but this is fun. Um, definitely an easier champ to learn. So if you're new to the game, I would probably get bigger. He's pretty cheap. He's only 3150 influence points, or six dollars if you want to buy the riot points. <clears throat> so easy to start out with. He's on the free roll uh, at least every other week. <laughs> He's one of the more used for the free roll, as opposed to these new champs they keep putting out. Some of them I haven't even played yet, but everybody likes Peter. There you go. Uh, if you can, if your team can facilitate it, you definitely want to grab blue, um, blue buff, right in here, <laughs> on your team side, and then, oop, get teamed up on, let's see if I can't kill both of these guys. Damn it, that Swain's lifesteal is kicking my ass. Let's see, I got that Soraka just with, <clears throat> uh, Dark Matter. So, like I said, kind of squishy. That was probably a really bad time to go back into the fight. Um, but I am kind of rusty. I haven't played much lately. Not that I'm making excuses, but this kind of game does evolve quickly. And if you spend too much time away from it, you'll come back to a completely different game. Which is what happened to me when I started playing about a month ago. Um, even characters that I followed the patch down, I'm still not seeing how they changed or how they work now. The uh, only thing I really noticed with Bigger that that Q farm is definitely quicker. <clears throat> I don't know if they upped the amount of damage it does or if I'm just getting lucky in these matches, but I'm having no problem at all uh, finishing a match in the 200 stack area, which I mean, I'm sure there's pros out there that are going to say, oh, that's kind of weak, but I'm not a pro player. I do this for fun. I like the game, I've liked the game for a long time, and I 
then play play the match play it because if not then what's the point and a rambling I'm really not sure what else to talk about basically Pam came up to me and asked if I would do a couple of these instructional and slightly background videos so I hope you guys like this because I can do these all day it takes much less research than the battle of legends that we've been doing um, if you guys do like these videos, you can suggest characters for me to go into. I can go over the background, the story, um, who they work with, you know, just some simple stuff. And then a little bit of gameplay, because I have probably 105 champs on this account. Yeah, I, I like to collect them. <laughs> just because you never know when you're going to feel like playing something new. Uh, plus, recently, they've been making a lot of new characters, and I haven't gotten to play a lot of them yet. So if somebody suggests one, I'll definitely buy them. I haven't been using this account much, but I hop on and play a couple games, you know, here and there. And as a result, I have a crap ton of influence points that I'm sitting on, not doing anything. But yeah, like I said, ooh, hey, how you doing, bro? Yeah, he doesn't want to play. See, that's what I was talking about with going up against AD carries. Um, that was just a baleful strike and a dark matter, and Ezreal has to go back because if he turned around, an auto attack would have taken him out. Uh, for whatever reason, I got this Mare Morella Namacon first. Um, it's also pretty good. It gives that burn damage. That's how I was able to take out that Soraka. Um, I don't typically build Leandry's Torment on Vigor, but you can. A um, little extra magic penetration and a lot of extra ability power and the passive with the burn damage it's a build it's not the one that I like I'd rather just rar and farm that Q and just baleful strike and one hit kill the AD carries uh, the last recording I had I used dark matter on Caitlyn and one shot at her instant death so let's see if I can get a few of those shots in on this one there we go that's one that's gonna be two get this as real just because I want to. That's going to be in trouble. And yeah, these are bots, so I'm not really going to brag too much about beating up on them, but yeah, fuck it, why not? That was a triple kill. And I didn't even have my ult for the second kill. Let me see if I can't get this tower and then go get blue. Uh, another interesting thing to me that I usually check is I want to play a character that can solo dragon, and I found out earlier today that if you're geared right, you can definitely solo dragon with Vigor. I would wait till about level 16, but that's just because I'm paranoid and I almost got killed at level 16. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hate those global alts. Maybe I'll do a couple of them next. I do like Ezreal's story, and I like his gameplay as well. Oh, and in case you're curious, Luden's Echo, the passive, where it drops out extra magic damage, if those, if you use your Baleful Strike, and the little drops that come off kill minions, they count towards your stacks as well, for your phenomenal evil power. See, so we're 18 minutes in, and I'm already at... 141 additional uh, total ability power at this point, 378. Uh, some AP champs don't even get that high, full gear. So I'm just going to see how high I can get it to go and beat up on this swing because I don't like when he hits me. Like I have four in my lane right now and I don't even feel like I need to run. There goes Soraka. Yeah, in the air. Shit. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen once. Um, characters like Vigor kind of match up, I mean, like Wukong kind of match up well against uh, AP cannons because they have the um, mobility and also uh, the stun skin passive, which gives them resistance to freaking everything. Another one of uh, Phantom's favorite characters.
one of my favorite things about Uyghur, other than his story, which is kind of twisted, is he really plays into team fights. So between Event Horizon to trap them and just the sheer damage plus his baleful strike striking up to two enemies, um, it gives you that extra push. Like maybe if you're not sure who you want to play or if you're getting back into ranked or you know, things of that nature, he's definitely a good place to start. Probably not my best recording today, but if this video software works, I'm gonna keep it. That would be an example of what I was talking about about overextending. Like I said, I'm focusing more on talking than playing at this point since these are bots and they don't matter. I'm not getting anything out of this match. Um, I really would like to do a little series like this. Trying to get more characters, and for myself, trying to learn how they've changed some of the characters that I like to play. Uh, some of them pleasant surprise, like Beager. Like I said, farming that Q is a joke compared to what it used to be. But I got on the other day and played a match as Yi, and Yi doesn't even need to be in this game anymore. He was a one-trick pony as it was, and now that trick's gone. So what the fuck? Come on, right? Not that I really care. I'm not typically a jungler anyway. I'll take it if I have to, but uh, same way about mid lane. I'd rather Teemo top or pretty much any AD carry. I don't know. I got damage. God damn. I will get this Wukong. I want it. Nope, no, Wukong alone. I missed. Yeah, that's fan I'm sticking up for his champ, even though this video is going on our channel. <laughs> and it's a bot. Yeah, Mayor, book on. <laughs> yeah, you can probably expect him to make an, an appearance, especially if I get to do someone like Jax, <laughs> or Pantheon. Whenever I'm playing melee characters like that that can tank a few tower shots, I'll go under tower just because. It doesn't even have to be for a reason. I just I like to dive. Rocket might save him. Oh shit. Back <laughs> him. Uh, again, talking about overextending. I'm bad about it. <coughs> but I feel like we're in a good spot here. My little team bots are helping out. Damn. Boom. He had like five health. That strike probably did 3,000 just because of how low he was. Look at that wave there. Up to 231. Can't believe I died twice. <laughs> Being stupid and not paying attention. This is a real game. I'd probably have bust 17 deaths by now. I like to push a lot. I fall out of position, just like that. Come here. Boom. I need to get event horizon. Or primary burst. Dark Knight, that's what I was looking for. 30. Yeah. So I was talking about with the burn damage, that just gave me a free kill. I don't even know there's a zero in this match. Right. We've had so many ridiculously epic matches in this stupid game. Uh, we went Scion and Aurelian Soul and Aram one time combined over a hundred kills. Still managed to lose the match. I'm sorry, but at some point you just gotta say no team. <laughs> and that's exactly what it was. We couldn't get our team to coordinate to save their lives. Literally. They were they would just die. <laughs> I'll take them. Boom. 
how that gave me a triple. That was like a half an hour in between, but I'll take it. This is my favorite part of the match when everybody's just like, screw it, all mid, try not to die. Whoa, get out. Oh. Ow! Sorry, getting attacked by cats. This is kind of tedious. They're just killing the minions and they're too scared to come out. This tower has a strong breeze would kill it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, you can pretty much just snipe kills with dark matter. There we go. Steel. Steel. That new Galio looks cool. It's definitely not what Galio was, but I don't know why they didn't just make a new character. He's got some nifty abilities. Oh, oh, we got him. Okay. <laughs> I have a bad habit of targeting the clone. This is just ridiculous. I'm, I'm making bigger back in my top like three rotation. Might as well drink my health potions now for the master's hold it over. I don't know why he keeps coming back. He knows he's just gonna get fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you want to definitely make sure that if you are going to use your Baleful Strike on champs like that, to try to line it up to where you can hit two people, because you don't want to waste the passive on it. I mean, I just bounced a hit off of um, Wukong and killed Ezreal. And kills translate to gold, and gold translates to gear, and gear translates to winning the game. Not really. I've been full gear and not able to win more times than I care to admit. And I'm going to get caught again. Nope. I'm gonna mess them up. Oh. Can't get mad at bots for chaosing, but I'm getting mad at bots for chaosing. Yeah. I mean, if they really want to walk into my damage, I will gladly add more damage. So yeah, again, basic rotation, use your Dark Matter to try to snipe from the back line, Baleful Strike through, and aim it so you can hit at least a minion and a champ, or two champs, ideally, and then uh, probably you'll burst to pretty much finish them off if you hit them at all. By this point of the game, I've got 400 stacks of additional AP. Um, I could probably one-shot this with them. Uh, well, apparently I can hit Soraka. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Ah. Got a little over that was there. We got four of you. <laughs> but basically, that's all I got about the gear. Um, can't really see much of the gear build. I would probably go Deathcap, Void Staff, Morale and Amicon, or however the hell you say that. Ludens Echo and Boots. Typically, you wouldn't need to get rid of the ring because that five percent mana regeneration plus. Bonus four mana every time you kill a unit. It really helps. Vigor is a very mana hungry champion. So keep that in mind. Make sure you take blue, even though I didn't do it in this video. And drop a like and subscribe if you guys want to see some more. That's all I got for you. Thanks.